Welcome back to On the Record. We're here at the last day of the Robin Robbins Boot Camp, and it's from all, all accounts, it seems like a fabulous show so far. Have you been enjoying yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been great. That's good. We got two out of two on this one. Um, so when we get into it, let's, let's just start off. So you're a husband and wife team, and you've been uh, doing this business for 20 years. What's it like working with your husband? I actually really enjoy it. I think we balance each other out really well. And your comic con? I, I concur with everything she said. It's, it's great. <laughs> we have... Uh, we complement each other on what we do. She does the marketing. I do the business side and technical. We had moved from California back to here, and I couldn't get a job uh, in what I wanted to do, and I started selling computers. I was good at it. So what made you come back, come into the, into the fold and become a partner with him in more than just in marriage but in uh, the business? Well, this answer is going to surprise you, but my husband uh, was very ill at the time, and he needed a liver transplant. And I wanted to get into the business to help him because I was afraid I was going to lose him. And when I was young, my mother inherited a business that way because my father died when I was young. So I thought, honestly, if I get in and I learn it, at least I'll have some knowledge should I lose my husband so I can help support my children. In 1989. No, 1999. Right. I had a liver transplant. Right. And I joined it that year. You know what's amazing? You must be awfully close because you're still getting teary eyed just talking about it. And you know what? Don't don't ever lose that. I won't. Terrific. So let's change the subject to something that will make you more happy for a few okay. minutes <laughs> although i think the end thing is you're probably crying because you're happy not because you're sad about it right. so it's a good all's good um it's amazing though eh? how things come about in your life uh, you joined robin w joined up with robin robbins three years ago i think you said a year ago, a year ago sorry yep and you're already in the producers club? yes we joined exactly a year ago when we came to our first boot camp which one of you found out about her first? Actually, we did at the same time. We went to an ASCII uh, seminar in many Massachusetts years many years ago, and Robin happened to be the speaker then. And we enjoyed her thoughts, uh, but we didn't think we wanted to per purchase her package at that time. So you can tell the other side of the story. What happened last year? Uh, she called me out of the blue, and I said I couldn't afford it, and she said, come anyway. We can give you a ticket. And I guess from there it all unraveled. Once you got here, how long did it take you before you actually started using the tools that she has? Pretty immediately, actually. I, I do think that in the beginning I was so overwhelmed. That she gives you so much powerful information, it was hard to sift through. But we also ended up joining an accountability group right away, and they were hugely helpful in directing me into what should I do first and next, and that really worked for us. So, when, a year ago, when you started, where was your company at? Uh, on the verge of going under almost. And we uh, grew 40% uh, last year, really because of her. Yeah, you know, you had a real bad time. Like, I mean, you uh, obviously, go, you know, after 20 years or 19 years, that, that obviously wasn't good news. But more than that, you also had the recession to go with, and your customers were probably going out of business, and you probably had some bad debts in there, and everything else going on. And yet, it wasn't a good year for the economy overall last year. So, what happened? Why did? Why, how did you manage to grow your business 40 percent? Well, basically, listening to Robin and using her techniques. Um, honestly, my first step was a, a, a three-step letter that was really only a two-step because I wasn't smart enough in finishing the whole process, but it still landed me a really great client. And he didn't respond in time for the offer, but he held the letter that we sent him, the first letter on his desk, because he liked the marketing technique. And he ended up becoming a, a really good client of ours. Do you think that the magic in what, uh, well, I'll ask you first, what do you think the magic is in the Robin Robbins approach? 
It's taking a whole lot of information from someone who knows what she's doing and coupling it with some really inspiring speakers and then exposing you to her whole group of believers. And somehow that whole network really sends you on your way. So it starts with Robin Robbins, but it's the whole family, basically. It is. It is. Yeah. It's a real gestalt. It's a real gestalt with the accountability group, the, the meetings, uh, her calls, it's everything like that. It, it's all of that. So, if you had to say one thing to Robin Robbins right now, what would it be? Wow, uh, Robin, you've just changed our lives dramatically and you're the best. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so now I want one more piece of advice from you. So that was what you want to say to her. If you were talking to my audience, and most of them are not managed service providers now, they haven't gone into the cloud. Um, no, I mean, we go up to 140,000, and about 20,000 of them have made those moves, but another 120,000 have not. What would your advice be to them? To people going into the cloud? People, just what would you suggest that they do overall if they want to rate, like most of them are sitting on the place where you were a year ago, okay? Uh, the problem is uh, it's not because of the recession necessarily with a lot of them. A lot of them have been doing this for 10 years, 15 years, and uh, every year they're on the point of bankruptcy. Um, what would you tell them to do? What advice would you give them that they can do this year, like within the next 12 months, to grow their business? Well, obviously, joining Robin's group, you know, buy the technology marketing toolkit. Don't give up. She, the other thing that she offers is hope. You know, there is hope to turn your business around no matter where it's at. Yeah, this is a place that where, where you meet your peers that are successful and you learn from them. I couldn't get that anywhere else. Mr. Mrs. LeBlanc? Congratulations on the turnaround, and I have a feeling that it's next year you're going to come back and tell me that, gee, we thought last year was good, but this year was just phenomenal. Exactly. I want to hear it next year. All right.